Welcome back to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. I almost don't want to even reference the last <laughs> segment, but it was a, a, a product review that we, we read through and discussed. Um, look, do some research before you use a hair removal product. That's all I have to say about that. Oh, shizzle on that one. <laughs> And, and and believe them when they say it, it, you, you know whether you work in the North Sea or not. Believe them. Yes. Tate, I'm starting to think after getting ready for this this segment today that between Waffle House, which we talked about a couple of days ago, and Florida, we are never going to run out of things. Oh to no, talk about. no, 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 no! You these, you these the, last segments. It's it's like a hurricane. It's two fronts that come together to make the perfect storm. Waffle houses. <laughs> in Florida and they're in the same area. It's gonna happen. It's just the way it is. You said the hurricane and do you know what immediately I started doing it singing in my head? What? Life is like a hurricane. That just yeah. you, you do understand did that. I just aged myself? You, oh yeah. girl, you yes you did. It's all good. <laughs> it is all good. Uh, all right. So we have two Florida man stories for uh, for you today. The first is a deranged McDonald's customer choked, slugged, pistol whip, and shot off the pinky of another patron. Damn, okay. Now this uh, let me let me set up and get ready for this one. Okay, this is... and the reason because the reason is a little ridiculous. Wait, 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 sorry. Repeat repeat the, the, the order. Choked, slugged, pistol pistol whipped, and shot off the pinky. You sure that's that sounds that sounds like a sister over there, somebody's mama. <laughs> uh, it was a man. Grandma Beatrice is up, up, up in Wap, up in uh, McDonald's. Your grandma's more weighted. <laughs> um, Wesley Bullock was okay. hit. And he was he's forty eight. Was hit with aggravated battery and burglary after the wild fast food feud in Zephyrillis, Florida, which is about thirty miles north of Tampa. Um, Bullock was so angry that he didn't get his sauce. So this is all over sauce. He didn't get the sauce with his order that he allegedly walked up the drive, drive up window at the restaurant and began screaming at an employee. Um, when the victim intervened to try to calm him down. Oh, not a good plan victim. Mm -hmm. So that's when the cops said that Bullock went off on the man, grabbing him by the throat, slugging him and getting into a brawl until McDonald's staffer staffers were able to break up the scuffle. But that it didn't stop there because Bullock then followed the victim to a nearby <laughs> Speedway gas station where he cut off his car, got out and pointed a silver handgun at the man only to have the weapon misfire. I'm sorry that wasn't as silver. I think I think you had a chrome piece. <laughs> I think that was chrome. It wasn't silver. That okay. was chrome. Okay. For, for those that know. They, they, if yeah. you know, you know. Yeah. Um, undeterred, Bullock then allegedly pistol whipped the victim and recocked the gun with the two men getting into a life and death fight over the gun. Uh, the victim stated that it was about that time he grabbed the pistol and fought Bullock for control over it because he was in fear for his life. Um, according to an affidavit, he stated he believed he was going to die. I can see that. Bullock allegedly got off one shot, which struck, struck the victim in the pinky. Uh, the wounded pinky, victim, pinky toe or pinky? It just says pinky. So I think really it's funny. Funny. Okay, making sure we're the pinky, pinky toe. toe. Okay. Uh, the wounded victim managed to get the gun away from his attacker, threw it in his car, and called the cops. Bullock was caught after surveillance camera footage confirmed the victim's wild account. He was ordered held at Pasco County Jail on a four hundred thousand dollar bond. Sauce. What kind of sauce no. do you think it was? Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Let me let me say this. You have the floor. You know who I blame? You're gonna tell me. I blame McDonald's. Sure. They this do. is clearly a McDonald's issue. How many times have you gone to get some get your nuggets on, <laughs> get your nug nugs on, and they're like, you order a you order a twenty piece nugget and they only give you one dipping sauce. Eventually you're gonna get upset. You should be allowed more dipping sauces. And that's eventually over years of ordering chicken nug nugs and not getting enough sauces. Next thing you know, a dude snaps. Now he got his chrome piece out pistol whipping somebody and is rolled over to the next gas station. That's the reason why I blame McDonald's. Free up, you know, there should be a campaign to free the sauce. If you for every, I say, listen, I'm a I'm a I'm a sauce dipper. So you should be allowed 
a bottle, uh, not a bottle. <laughs> the bottle may be a little extreme. Yeah, I know. Let's do a bottle in your order. <laughs> That's not a bad plan. You should be able to order a bottle of sauce to go with your 20 piece nugget. But, and it'd be a little cash cow form. But if you if you order a 20 piece, you should be able to get at least six sauces. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, you're going like every three nuggets. I was thinking yes. four, so four, yeah, every three five things of sauce, but yeah, okay. And see, because I'm not, if it's my, if it's my nuggets and I'm not sharing, I'm gonna dip one, bite in half, rotate to a clean end, dip into another sauce. So I'm getting multiple sauces. I like a lot of I like a lot of flavors with my 20 piece nuggets. So I'm saying it's McDonald's fault because they don't give enough sauces out. So this this did not have to escalate to this level if they just would have gave the man a proper number of sauces. Now there's somebody missing a pinky toe or a pinky <laughs> over the fact that they didn't didn't get enough chicken nuggets. Now, I admit, my man might have been a little wrong for bringing out the chrome piece on him. <laughs> That's where, you know, but things that escalated over all these years of not getting enough of them sauces and made them, you know, made them snap a little bit. Now, yeah. second of all, if you're gonna go there, and you're going to try to choke somebody out and bring out your chrome piece. Don't get beat up. <laughs> Sounds like my man, my man took things too far, got beat down, got his, got his pinky shot off, and he's going to go to jail. No, no, no. The victim got his pinky shot off. Okay, the victim did. Okay. But he did get beat down a little bit. and um, Okay, so he, he, he did get beat, he, but... Because initially, the, initially the victim tried to subdue him, and like you know, there was there was a confrontation, and then 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 the employees intervened. But yeah, second thing, he also the gun also misfired at first, so he he's having some issues. Second thing, this is a this is a this is a public service announcement from the sh from from me to America. The more you know. No good deed goes unpunished. Yeah. Stop stop trying to break up these situations. I'm going to come in and be Mr. Good Samaritan. Next thing you know, you're getting your pinky toe shot off. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want... Don't be getting it. You just stay out of it. If you're an employee at the company, you're a McDonald's employee. Here's another public service announcement. Give out sauce? <laughs> give out more sauce. Yes, give out more sauce. That's one. And two, they're not paying you enough to get your pinky toe shot off. So let my man go. Let him do it. Let him vent. But you don't need to get involved and lose a pinky toe or pinky or get into, get into, get, get into some fisticuffs over some, some nugget sauce. Just letting y'all know, don't do it. Okay. This is from your. This is from your boy Tate. Step away. Words of advice. All right. <laughs> well, our second floor man didn't need any sauce. Oh, he might have been on some sauce. Both. Yeah, <laughs> oh, so he, yes. A, a drugged out floor man. That's oh where he boy. He probably made that stuff in his basement. Was busted following <laughs> an attack on a sheriff's deputy at a local music festival. Okay. <clears throat> James Anderson, a volunteer at the Vortex Springs Soul Fest, was charged with resisting arrest and aggravated battery of a law enforcement officer at the festival. The Holmes County Sheriff's Office said Anderson was allegedly under the influence of PCP, oh. LSD, oh. ketamine, mushrooms, and ecstasy. He did the whole alphabet. He didn't did. He, he did the A through, to, A through Z drugs. He is charged with biting off a piece of a deputy's head. What? What? The deputy, whose name was not released, was on patrol at the event when he got into a scuffle with the rowdy Anderson. Captain Peahead, you gotta have a small head and have someone bite off a piece of your head. Well, think of a chunk, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anderson had to be some dude with a taser after taking the chunk out of the cop's head. Mm -mm. Nope, nope. Festival goer, there's always going to be some positivity and there's going to be some negativity. <laughs> it's just part of how the festival world works. Okay, I saw a picture, which notice there's no slideshow with this. Wait. I didn't think you needed. No, literally there is a chunk out of this man, no. back of this man's head. Here, the problem I have with the nice officer, I'm gonna defend the officer. A lot of times people don't defend the cops enough. 
<laughs> but officer chunk missing his head <laughs> he tased them that shows this is a good cop because if it had been officer tate i'd have pulled out my piece it, i'd have bust a couple caps in him i'm sorry you can't take you can't take a chunk out of my melon and think you're not gonna get you you're gonna get some you're not gonna get no lead i'm sorry you're getting lead if you're taking a chunk out of my head Woo, that rhyme i love that <laughs> <laughs> that is my new shirt. Your sound bite of the day. <laughs> Expect some lead if you take a chunk out of my head. That is the shirt of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Are we going to have merch now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. First, and also, you said LSD, PCP, DDT, <laughs> ABC. He, he, went with all, he went with all of them. When, if you're doing that much in drugs, you have already made decision, bad decisions in your life. And one of them is looking at a cop's head and think it's a tasty snack. <laughs> you know, lock this dude up, throw away the key, get him some treatment, whatever. I feel bad for Officer Chunk a lot <laughs> because, because somebody bit him in the head. But I do, I think this, this cop needs, um, like an accommodation or something because the fact that he kept this cool enough and pulled his taser, I don't know if I'd have been the same, I'd have been the same level. I'd have pulled the taser, been like, oh, I don't need that today and <laughs> tossed it over my shoulder and went for the heat. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, this guy didn't need any sauce. <laughs> no, he would, he came pre-sauce. <laughs> His nuggets came pre-sauce. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, everyone. These stories are for entertainment purposes. I hope Ch uh, Officer Chunk a lot is okay. <laughs> I hope my man that did the alphabet drug, I hope he gets the treatment that he needs. We're just having a good time on a bad situation. That's all. Yeah, don't, and don't do drugs. Don't, just, no, don't forget do that. Any, don't bite people's heads. Oh yeah, but don't okay. do this person that leads the head. <laughs> yeah, the moral of the story is, give McDonald's give more sauces and people, Drugs are bad and don't bite people's heads. Okay. All right. That's that's it. Public service announcements. So um, thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show by GSMC Sports. Uh, your support means a lot to us. We greatly appreciate it. So please remember to subscribe and follow this show on wherever you are listening or watching it. Um, also, if you want to, uh, like Tate said, leave that positive review. We really appreciate it, and it really does help get this show out to more listeners and watchers. It makes a difference. We also invite you to follow us on social media, Facebook, X, Instagram, and TikTok. You can find more content and updates. Thank you for joining us for this wild ride through everything. Uh, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Chunky monkey. <laughs> <laughs>